here we are in Athens and look at this orange tree we can just grab one on the street <laughs> <laughs> look at that guys voice oh, muscle good welcome to Athens yeah welcome to Athens and we're going to this museum now that we didn't know existed. the Museum of Ancient, Ancient Greek, Greek Technology, Technology. To be clear, this is not the one of the famous museums here in Athens. But we were just walking along. Smell smells. Oh, it so smells like fresh oranges, and we're going to this museum. Let's do it. So, as it turns out, the ancient Greeks were a lot more than just world-class warriors. They, in fact, invented so many things, some of which we still use today. I will say, big shout out to pulleys, helping the ancient Greeks live big heavy rocks with a single finger. They also came up with something similar to Morse code, allowing them to pass messages over great distances using fire. We also have here the first ever coin operated water dispenser. And how about a foot powered water pump known as the endless screw, looking like it's good for exercise as well as retrieving water like a treadmill. And my personal favorite, the first ever alarm system, which when you open the door, pour some water into a jug and with air pressure and water pressure makes a whistling noise, which is not to be outdone by the first ever alarm clock. You set the dial to six, seven, eight hours, however long you want to sleep. And when it's time for you to get up and go race in the first ever Olympics or something, the whistling noise gets you up in the morning. Really clever for 2,500 years ago. All right, here we are in my new favorite museum of all time. Sorry to the war memorial in South Korea, which is now number two, because here in Athens for nine euros, you can see this incredibly organized and really testament to the power of pulleys, hydraulics, and gears. Did you know the ancient Greeks had the first ever robot, which was specifically designed to look like a female and pour wine <laughs> automatically for its guests. Wow. We've got the first ever alarm system with water pressure and air pressure. You open the door and it makes a noise. You've got alarm clocks. And actually my favorite so far, I could probably make a whole video about this, is the water powered clock, mm -hmm. which could run in theory forever. Let's go check it out. Check this out guys. This device was made like 2,500 years ago. Water is gonna drip in here and through these different vessels, slowly fill up this guy. Drip, 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 which will push up this shaft here. Now when he goes up, this little man will indicate midnight, 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 4 a.m., all the way up till midnight again, then he'll fall back down. And when he falls back down, so brilliant, he will rotate this thing, which will turn this. So once a day, this will slowly turn. And after 365 days, it'll go all the way around. This is the time of day. This is the time of year. All powered by water pressure. Just brilliant. So cool. They even figure out like daylight saving times and everything. Yes. You see this bolt line? This it is when... It indicates when... Uh, nighttime and daytime. Yes. Yeah. So over here would be the winter where the sun goes down much earlier. And over here would be the summer where the sun goes down later in the day. Uh, incredible. And like I said, guys, everywhere you look, they've got the depiction of it, the reenactment of it, and then videos on top of it. Without exaggeration, my favorite museum we've been to so far. Here's the endless screw, pumping water. Dun, 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 dun. And again, could work forever. I think a machine like this is still in use today in like yeah. mining and pulling out gravel and stuff. Uh, and when the ancient Greeks did it, they did it with their feet, <laughs> which is just incredible. They stood on top of it. You've got the first ever uh, water thrower for water pump. water pump for firefighting. You gotta be careful because you could actually spray this and soak somebody. Keep going, keep going. There you go. <laughs> and honestly, guys, this is the greatest museum I've ever been to. This is them water throwing. <laughs> they pump and they water throw. Come on, video. There you go. Fantastic, guys. Just fantastic. Uh, for nine euros, this is the best nine euros I ever spent. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> Woohoo! Not exaggerating, my new favorite museum ever. And the staff in there did a really nice job talking about how um, the relationship between religion and science in ancient Greece was really positive. And this is why they were so far ahead of their times, uh, inventing stuff that was just mind-blowing. I mean, they got this one thing that's like seven 
concentric and articulating rings and it can with incredible accuracy uh, figure out your longitude and latitude so if you are out sailing in one of their epic massive ships maybe collecting rocks to build something uh, you could find out exactly where you were mark it down and then go back to the same spot later um, and I guess in medieval Europe the relationship between religion and science sort of fell apart it wasn't until Galileo where it got back together and uh, the Greeks were way ahead of their time some of the stuff they figured out like 1500 years later yeah. humans had to rediscover and go oh yeah they already knew that you know uh, really incredible and they gave us this parting gift which is a really simple game. Ancient tic-tac-toe. They call it ancient tic-tac-toe, although that's kind of underselling it because tic-tac-toe is sort of mindless and solved. This game is kind of complicated and quite fun. <laughs> I will say it's going to be a nice drinking game in the hostel. You take a piece of paper, you draw this circle with the cross and the X, and you get maybe six beer caps. Three Heineken versus three Stella, and you play a little uh, challenge. It's quite fun, simple, but uh, entertaining. That was absolutely great. And next, Ivana is planning for us to go to this? a market. Oh, let's eat the let's orange! See if, it's, if it's good. The orange, orange makes a reappearance. I think only tourists do this. Like, only I don't see any locals getting the oranges out of the trees, you know? Imagine it was the best orange you ever had. Oh, let me... Eat it, eat it, eat it. Oh, super sour. <laughs> I think this is not ready yet. Roadside Athen oh! oranges. What could be better than that? Okay, next stop, Ivana's got something planned like a market. Yes. Locals only, sort of fruit and veg, whatever we can find, market, bro. Yeah, see? It's Yo. just everywhere. I love it. Eat it, eat it. Oranges. I wish oranges. they were sweet. I wish they were sweet. I think yeah. we have to wait. Maybe they're not ready. Too yet. Early, maybe. Yeah, they're still a little bit green. The best, the mm. best. Okay, next stop, market. Let's go. Yo, loving Athens so far. Absolutely loving it. Saipur. Okay. <laughs> we'll go there. Saipur near Islamabad. No Islamabad, Saipur. This is Islamabad and San Lada, Tina. This is Miju. <laughs> Alright guys, here we are at the meat market. Yeah. Feeding some Seems like Pakistani a, friends. a lot of Pakistani sellers here. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like shop owners yeah. or, or selling meat. Retail yeah. kind of. Yeah. Oh, maybe it's halal meat. Maybe it's halal meat. <laughs> All right, so we've left the meat section. I will say it smelled like fish in there. Did you notice that? Really? I didn't see any fish, but I smelled it. <laughs> and now we are into the visually appealing section. Colorful and beautiful section. Okay, let's explore. I'm excited. Uh, good question. What is it called? I think it's called quince. Yes. It's the one that in quince. Romania they make into alcohol. Yeah, polycar. It looks like pear, but apparently the flavor is not that great. So you make it into booze. It looks like wrinkled pear. Wrinkled pear. <laughs> this is the place to be right now. I'm loving Greece Fresh so fresh, much. Yes. I'm loving this I place love, so I much. I love local markets. Local markets. Oh, and olives. Oh, we should buy some olives in we should buy some olives and some feta cheese, let's be honest. Ah, make some Greek salad. Greek salad. Yo, olives smell so good. Oh my gosh. The fragrance makes me want to buy it. We have found just what I'm looking for. Ooh, spicy olive. Which one is your favorite? Best one. Best, best olive. Please. This one. Oh, yes, garlic. Garlic. Yes. Can I it's okay. Dance? I make video. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Try Can I try? That's it. Yes. I think so. Can I try? Yes. Please. Garlic olives. How is it? Mm. You like it? Mm. It's good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Maybe half a kilo, not mm. a whole kilo. Let's try a spicy one. Please, can I try one spicy one? Nice guy, thank you. Thanks. Spicy one or garlic one? Garlic one. Garlic? Right. Okay. 
actually spicy is good too. At spicy. the end, the spice kicks in. Oh, both good. Garlic, garlic. Garlic. Just half um, a kilo, half. Maybe half a kilo. Please. Half. How do you say how do you say thank you in Greek? Thank F Kariso. Say again? F Kariso. F? F Kariso. F Kariso. Okay. F Kariso. Thank you. We need to know thank you. This is the most important term as a traveler. Okay. F Kariso. Okay. I think, half it's, only, I half. think it's three fifty. We don't want to go home with that. Remember the one kilo of spinach? <laughs> yeah, half half kilo. Nice, Ivana. Yes, that's good. Beautiful. Guess the price. A couple of euros. Yeah, the, for one kilo is three fifty. Oh, you see it there. So much. So one seventy five. Sold. Yeah. Sold. Thank you. F fatty sold. Here, here is the price. Something else. That's it. How much? One seventy five. One seventy five. Here? No. Oh, inside. Inside. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. F -A 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 okay. 175. F -A -A Ivana, fun game. Guess how to spell F -A -A Oh boy. F spelling K spelling spelling challenge. F K H A L I S O. It's gotta be a vowel at the beginning. <laughs> AF. F or E F. No, no, no. It's Just starts with F, you think? Yeah, I think so. F Kariso. How do I spell? Oh, very, <laughs> very difficult. Very difficult. <laughs> okay. She's going to write for us. She's going to write for us. Oh, she's going to write. F Kariso. So you had F K H. Your guess was pretty good. Yeah. F Kariso. Thank you. Uh, F Kariso. E Y X. Wow. <laughs> e Y X. <laughs> totally wrong. This is F Kariso. Can I see? And this. Maybe my yeah my oh in 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 this. Greek alphabet yes yeah. oh oh we call mu mu mind mind this and f okay Cassie? Learn, learning how to say thank you f so Kaliso. the spelling challenge of f kariso looks like this <laughs> wow. Totally, totally wrong. Totally okay, let's Again, F Caristo. F Caristo. Oh, F Caristo. Ah, oh, F Caristo. Okay. F Caristo. Okay. You. Bye. Bye bye. So far, so good. Yeah. Uh, now, next stop, we're going to go to. We want to make Greek salad. We're going to make cucumbers and tomatoes let's and, make Greek salad. and feta cheese. New plan. New plan. Greek salad. Yeah. Thank you. F Caristo. Thank you. Spelling challenge is a good idea. Uh, e Y X A P I. Wow, so different. All right. F K H. Good try. Yes. <laughs> Loving okay. Athens. So what's 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 uh, uh, Greek salad? Feta, Feta cucumber, tomato. Cucumber, tomatoes. Yes. And olive oil. We were going to go to the old town and do some. We will. Uh, we will go there. Still go Just, there. Yeah. For walking salad. around. What do we want? Three cucumbers. Mm -hmm. Maybe four cucumbers and four tomatoes. And to two tomatoes. Two tomatoes. Yeah. Okay. One. More. Same price. Oh, oh, same price. Ah, they're all oh, same price. Oh, very nice. Okay, great. Really? How? Uh, this one. Okay. Can you tell me? What's the best one? This one. This one. This one. This one. This one. <laughs> okay. Uh, maybe green Please. pepper, this one. Okay, green pepper. That's oh, this here, here. Here. Take. Yeah, take two. Take two. Maybe three, one more. So oh, the same price. price. No, it's the same price. No. Ah, all uh, 69 euro. 69, 69 cents euro. Oh, he's doing it one by one. Gotcha. Ah, maybe red onion, too. Red onion. Red onion. Red onion. This one. Red. Red. Please. Uh, this one. Okay, good, good. Nailed it. F. Kerry Stoll. Lemon, no. Can you buy lemon? Lemon? Lemon, lemon. Lemon. Yeah. I tell you like. You think I like it? I think you like lemon. <laughs> lemon? Yeah, I think you like it. Finish? Finish. Go home. Four euros. Okay. Four. Four. Four euros. Okay. That's a good price. No, 20 is too big. One euro 50 cent. One euro 50 cent. One fifty. <laughs> You thought four euros is a good price. Yes. <laughs> Babe, four never say that. You. 
150 for you. Wow. 150. Okay, Ivan, you pay. You, you pay here. F Kali so. You give me 150. F Kali so. He just he just <laughs> pretended to rob us. <laughs> Very nice. Thank you. F Kali so. F Kali so. So can I have you be? Yes. Where are you from? Yes. 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 Okay. You speak, you speak Greek? You speak Greek? Everybody's yelling. <laughs> Yo, that was the greatest interaction I ever had. He said four euros? I was like, oh, good price. We almost got scammed, but he because looks at me and goes, of my charm? <laughs> you saved us two euros fifty. Yeah. Alright. Hello. Good. Hello. <laughs> Canada. And where are you from? Egypt. 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 Ah, okay. Good Egypt? Not yet. One day. I'd like to go to Egypt. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yo. Oh, I might buy uh, some uh, orange. I love this place. Okay, let's keep going. I love it. Maybe this one. This is sweet? Sweet, sweet or no? Sweet. Uh, can I try? Three kilo. No, no, no. Three. Can I, can I try? Three. Can I try? Okay. Oh, look. Can you open one, Steve? I open for you. I open for you. Okay. I open, I open for her. <laughs> try it. You want me to try? It's sold. It's a bit sweet. Where are you from? Syria. 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 Oh, wow. From, uh, it's very multicultural here. <laughs> Is it sweet? It's so good, Ivana. Okay. Fresh. Uh, okay. Maybe okay. one kilo? Uh, one kilo. Please. Let me guess. Let me guess. Four euros. No, look at the price, man. You gotta... <laughs> I am the world's worst negotiator. Yeah, no. So what's it say there? Two for one euro. So what's, what's one? How much? Oh. Two kilo for one euro. Oh, how much? One kilo. 50 so, cents? Yes. Amazing. Is that okay? Amazing. Wow. You gotta show here more often. Where are you? Awesome. FK is tall. Good? Good? Good, man. Do you need anything else? From Syria? Yeah. You speak, speak Greek? Yeah. Oh. yeah. Uh, six. six years here. Six okay. years. Good for you. I like, to, I like the way the uh, all the different countries they speak Greek. Yeah. I like this. Canada. Canada. Love Canada. Love you, Canada. Thank you. F Kerry Sto. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> They're all Yo, hard workers. Why is so everyone nice? so nice and so good on camera and so? <laughs> it's been, what a great thing! Yeah. What a great thing! All right. Now we just need feta cheese. Feta. Yeah, feta. Where? Maybe here. Oh, maybe it is. It's a lot though, no? That's a lot. Oh, yes, yes. Okay. oh maybe here, here. Oh, there you go. Okay, this is what we're looking for. Right here. Okay, feta cheese. Let's see how much it is. Uh, four euros for a big block of okay. what he says is the best. Okay. Let's be honest. I was going to spend four euros on some veggies, yeah. so okay. what do I know? Uh, F. Stalico. No, F. Stalico. Egarso. 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 Uh, the downtown old town yes it should be really picturesque photogenic and we do have like 12 pounds of veggies but no problem we will go to the old town okay. let's go all right 
think we're about to enter like some kind of a strip with many many shops around. <laughs> This is awesome. Look at this. T-shirts, jewelry. Wow. This is awesome. I'm liking this place. Amazing. Wow. So pretty. Wow. Look at this chessboard. <laughs> I think you like this one, Steve. Yeah, we'll get it. <laughs> cool. Wow, look at this place, Steve. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. I don't know if you can see up there, it's the Acropolis right there Way on up that there. hill. Yeah. Stay tuned for a video from the Acropolis, obviously, yeah, yeah. and the Acropolis Museum. This is why the museum this morning was so funny. That's not the famous one. Yeah. And it was so great. Yeah. Uh, wow, I love this, this place. Where? Amazing. Wow. All right, let's keep exploring. All right, Ivana, quick. Name five things you don't like about Athens. Oh boy. Nothing yet. Name one. Nothing yet. Maybe the fact that in the museum That's you right. learned that people 2,500 years ago were like 20 times smarter than I am today. That's the only thing I didn't like. <laughs> but you are so right. Amazing place. I will say our channel has kind of, you know, inadvertently taken the shape of showing underrated mm -hmm. tourist locations. So like Albania we loved, uh, Malaysia, Pakistan. My point is, it's hard to say Greece is underrated. This is like a world famous uh, destination. Mm -hmm. That being said, I love it. Oh, Even if it's not so our nice. usual style, Athens is a really intriguing city. You've got the old and the new kind of side by yeah. side. There is some poverty and some graffiti and some homelessness, and there's still some really amazing sights. All those guys at the market from different <laughs> countries who seem to have assimilated yeah. to the speak the language and everything. And lots, lots of like bakeries and shops, bakeries like everywhere, which I love. And the young people here seem to be everywhere, mm -hmm. young. I would say Greek people are attractive, young, hot people around everywhere. Yeah. It's really great. And right now it's I'm loving this November, place. so it's kind of like off season, Good which point. is nice. It's not so crowded. Two right months now. ago is the time to come, and yeah. even though we're here now, it's been amazing. Yeah. Seriously amazing. And to, and to think that we've done this long of a vlog so far, and I haven't even made one John Travolta Greece <laughs> joke. It's like, tell me more, tell me more. Um, let's go back to our hostel and let's make some Greek salad. Yeah, let's go. Let's go.